Hello, and welcome to Basic Computer Help. Today, I'm going to be redoing my Learn C Sharp um, number one. Hello, world. I'm going to be using Microsoft's Visual Studio 2008 Professional Edition. But if you do not have that edition, you can download for free Microsoft Visual Studio 2008 Express Edition or Sharp Develop from IC Sharp Code. Links will be in the description. The Visual C Sharp Express Edition, you do have to register, but it's free, and they send you a, uh, a key to activate it. So all you have to do is fill out information, and you got it. Now I'm going to go into... Visual Studio. What we're going to do is create a new project. So you can either go down to Create, Project, or File, New, and Project. Or you can click this icon if you got it. I mean, if that toolbar is available to you. But first, let me say this uh, you're going to have to look through your in, uh, environment because I have modified my development environment so it's going to be different even if you have uh, the professional edition of Visual Studio so we're going to go to create create a project uh, Visual C Sharp console application and we're going to call it hello world give it some time to load this can take a minute or two and then we are presented with this which is a bunch of code we have a namespace of hello world a class of program and a static function of main that it has a parameter for an array of strings. Now all this is not really all that important at the at this moment. So I'm going to uh, write code that'll interface with uh, that'll display the text hello world. So we're going to put in console dot write line now this is very case sensitive so every capital letter I have it has to be a capital letter and every small letter has to be a small letter now in in quotations and double quotations we'll put in hello world all functions have to go inside these little um, parentheses and all and all of your lines of code has to be en has to end with a semicolon now the console is a static class that does things to the command line and this code should even work under mono which is a linux uh implementation of the .net framework so we'll start to debug it Oops. As you saw, it popped up real fast and then went away. So let's do a console dot read key. What this will do is it'll, it'll it'll stop the program and wait for the user to press a key. Since I don't have it going into a variable or anything, it'll just take the when you push the key, it'll just get rid of it. See, hello world, and we press any button, 